Aha, I have been for radio in ten times so, and you two America. In him say, I can't be two three days be na about to no edu so. And ne aye ya wada and a Thursday. Abano so ya beto no aye Saturday. Into we and ne Friday and a Thursday. A chana Friday. Na the next day Saturday kahwa. Yam fan say and I yam can say. I cut three days. Aha. Na in ten times so in him say. Yes, sir, a fiasse. A benina open a defoa. Womo e can baton home some pa, make a messy de bia, womo can home some pa. We ye prophet claim a testimony every more enye ye. Nay, back and swan and come say in an so. Or sa na or sa edema, ye ra John Dramani Mahama, a former president. On an come say in a met me a castle, a quad man say obedient kunim, obedient kunim, obedient kunim. Nay, so enne dear. Or say, it drew me in dana ye two a banny we, you know. E kwa ni kwe siya dana ni jwa da su wano. Anki yi nimsi ya babu ba abane wye no. Na yi rajon do mani mahama na osu. Osu sa kwa le awon fofro. Osu sa kwa le komo deno. Osu sa kwa le opeo mahame no fwa anom. Ne di enti ni rajon do mani mahama osu. Wasi uwan susu da. Wanyen da. Wanyen tumut da se gana fwa bayani se do maya no no. E yi gana fwa di sana moti e. Mena mwa yi misi yi. Ah. In fact. Wasi yi suwa osu no. Eni bina a wawo bono. A wawo sugu gana fwa osu wano. Enya asam ketua. E di enti ni ira John Domain Mahama osu. Aha yon bimfo radio. Yon kwa Prophet Clement testimony. Ni yon kwa kwiti. Di enti a ira John Domain Mahama na osu. Sabre na Dr. Baumiansu na oye den. Ni yon na yon kwa. We yon su di asen we yon su bebo si. Ni yon kwa ni yon kwiti Prophet Clement testimony. Na me kwa so wa aka ose. E bia en nani de di kanya wo sha. Na wa subscribe di amayen. O ta fe. Then so subscribe on so no subscribe with me. Say be a latest and trending stories. The far bat one who biara. Yeah, the baby bro, I'm also when you be I then Asha. Young Kumla. I thought I was done with this prophetic visions of the coming election contest. But guess what? Yesterday I was carried again into the spirit with a clear, vivid vision. Amazingly, hmm. Ex President John Mahama. He was crying in the vision. He was crying. Share this video. It will be a blessing. Just press share right now. Make sure you share this video. I hope this will be the final one because we have a few days to the elections. But that is what the Lord carried me in the spirit. And I saw. I saw myself in my place of prayer. And then I just went off a bit lying down. And I was carried to a huge classroom, like a very big classroom more like um, a lecture hall so when i entered i saw president john mahama seated on one of the chairs in the classroom you know like the decks i would say you know like a student decks facing the the blackboard or the board or the lecture board and then i saw hassan ayariga i saw the other um party um whatever leaders for the other political parties when i saw him i saw he had put his head on the table like this so I could see some tears coming down. He was sobbing. And I just went close to him in the vision. He was on my left side. So I went close and I said, Asa, why are you crying? He didn't mind me. But I could hear him speaking, though he was not speaking with his mouth. I could hear him speaking in the spirit, you know, like communicating through imaginations, both of us. And what I could hear him say as he was crying is that ah, I didn't know Ghanaians would do this to me. I didn't know Ghanaians would do this to me. And he was crying. He was crying. I didn't know Ghanaians would do this to me. And he was crying. It was like a waiting room. So the lecture hall was like a waiting room where all the presidential aspirants were inside, seated waiting. And the lecture board, the blackboard, or the white marker board was like a screen in the spirit. So the news was stripping in that, you know, they have they are voted here. And these are the figures they have voted here. These are the figures they have voted here. These are the figures. Since morning, it was coming. It was coming in. And the vote were massive. The vote were the margin were dangerous. You know, the, it was a chunk of vote from various places. And some places that has never um, voted for John Mahama before or the NDC, they began to vote for the NDC. They began to vote for him. And I didn't talk man so. It, it just, <laughs> you know, it hit him so hard. And then he began to cry. He was weeping like, and it was like tears of joy. When I posted the picture, I saw some of you saying some things and a few of you got it very prophetic accurately um, that it was a tears of joy. And it was an overwhelming support victory. And he was saying, I didn't know Ghanaians 
will do this to me. I didn't know. And and as he was weeping, then I saw Hassan Ayurga came to tap him and say, Oh, sir, don't cry. It's your time. Congratulations. And he was still weeping on the chair, you know, and Hassan came to tap him and said, Oh, bro, I didn't know. It is yours. Don't worry, me, Subium. Why are they? And then the other um leaders came to congratulate him. And the last person I saw was the vice president who came, you know, um reluctantly and a bit confidence kakra you know you know the way he walks you know he came like more yeah vigorous he came and then he also came to congratulate him and tap tapped his back oh, like anybody who comes will just tap him and say oh you have done well a good fight like you have really done well all the aspirant so finally he came the vice came and also he came to also tap him and said oh you have done well and i heard him say that now that you have you have done well and then you have taken over you know i know that you are going to come after you know after us in a very hard way you know more like he would he would come in, you know, yeah. And then that was what the, the vice was saying in the vision. It, it was just yet had it, just yet it was very clear vision. And then, um, but John was still crying, and he was overwhelmed about the victory. He was overwhelmed about about the outcome, the results at various areas, and he says he didn't know that um, the Ghanaians would do that for him. So you see, I I could pick from the visions that you know the reason why he was crying was that he thought that he was done and dusted, you know. Um, he thought that his political career is over. He thought that maybe perhaps he, he wouldn't, you know, be received like the way, you know, the things turned out to be. So more like a bit shocked also. And then, um, like, it was overwhelming. So perhaps somebody who thought he was done and dusted, in quote, people don't want him anymore. People don't need him anymore. God said, no, you are not you are not yet done. You know, and I, I, I said to some of you some months back that, you know, the Lord told me many um, years ago, like two years, that, Trump and JM, they are twins in the spirit. Their courts are tied. So whatever happens to Trump will happen to JM. That's the vision I saw. You know, I kept sounding Trump's own and all that. By the mercy of God, it came to pass. You know, a, a president, he was voted out. Trump, he came back again. You know, and he came massively. Are you seeing that? And the places that the other party were winning massively, Trump took over that place. The same thing will happen in Ghana. Yes, but JM may not take over some of the places where the MPPs win massively, but he will cause he will cause trouble, the massive trouble. And that was a shock. That was a shock to the man and he was crying. And I came out and said, What? What a vision. So I mean, I thought I was done with the visions. I thought I was not going to see anything anymore. I was like, just let me lay down small after prayer. Then boom. It just came like that. I was in the hall with them, like a classroom, and then it was amazing. So that is what God showed me by the mercy, by the grace of God. That's what God has said. Ghana will see peace. Ghana will have a change. And then um, it is sealed in the spirit. Right now, nothing is changing again. In the atmosphere, the watchers have closed everything. So where, where it is going, is going. Just imagine how this man was crying. It means that the thing was overwhelming. Take note of the word. And it hit him. He was shocked. Even John himself, the man, he was shocked. He knows Suse Akwala in the vision. I decided not to share, but I felt that, okay, I think I have to share with you. And then we trust God that God has spoken and God is still speaking. I don't know why this coming, this particular elections, he's speaking back to back to back that he wants to do something for the nation Ghana. So once again, congratulations to the crying man, the tears of joy man, and then the man who was dumbfounded about the results that were trooping in. God bless you. God bless our homeland Ghana. Make our nation great and strong. My name is your friend and brother, Prof. Clive. I love everybody. I love everybody.